Hello. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting a looser painting books in just as I said slightly slightly looser style. I did make my sketch on just a regular printing paper and then I'm tracing it onto my watercolor paper using this graphite paper. That is how I usually do. I don't want smudges on my watercolor paper so that is how I do it. Now I'm just picking up the excess graphite with needed eraser. That sketch will be available for download as always so there is a link down in the description box. Go ahead download it for yourself, trace it and then join in. First I've pre-vetted the entire paper and afterwards I've picked up Mars Brown and just tapping in the paint here and there with Mars Brown. Now I'm adding Mother Lake Red Light and leave, letting those two colors mix on my paper. That is fine, this is a looser painting. So also I'm now tapping the my block onto table just to move that paint slightly around and then add just a little bit of the sprinkles with the clean water. Afterwards I left it to dry completely and now moving on to the second layer and as you could have seen the first layer I did not really be careful where I'm adding the paint but I did add it onto my books and just looking to add maybe on one book and then on the other not not mixing too much into the books those paints and right now on the second layer I'm just doing basically the same so adding a little bit more of the paint on the first book and that's Mars Brown and Sepia in a corner and in a lower part. Second book is Mother Lake Red Light. Third again mix of those two colors Sepia Mars Brown adding here and there also that red and now I've added chromium oxide green color just just to add uh, to introduce that third color and my uh, main color is mars brown and sepia mix of those two colors brown second color is mother lake red light and my accent color you know the color that i'm going to use the least is uh, chromium oxide i will be adding a little bit of cadmium yellow medium but that one is just for a couple of highlights now I uh, I'm adding since those colors mixed too much I did leave them to bleed slightly one into each other I did add just a little bit of Mars Brown and Sepia on the left corner of my books just to make slight distinction between those two and then I've left it to dry completely and now I'm using this ink pen that is the Micron number 05 you can also use if you have a, a larger you can use also larger one when I started using this one I noticed I could have used a larger one but this one will also be fine now I did not draw one line but I was just making those broken lines because I think that looks nicer a little bit more sketchy so that is how I wanted it my lines are broken and you can see somewhere are a little bit darker somewhere a little bit lighter and when added that ink pen you have to use a waterproof and not water soluble if you are adding a little bit of watercolor on top that is what I was doing so just be careful not to use a, a ink pen that could actually smudge with the water you're not you, well you're not doing a favor to yourself afterwards again I've added a little bit more of the details with darker color on left corners added a little bit of cadmium yellow medium also right now on top that's beautiful vibrant color I love adding that color for just a little bit of the accent then sprinkles in a mix of Mars Brown and Sapia mother lake red light and on top a little bit of cadmium yellow medium and to finish it all off I'm using white gouache for a couple of details here and there and I've also splattered some white gouache and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and this video short cute one I think you should definitely give it a try a great practice for loose watercolors and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would really mean a lot to me and maybe consider joining my channel that would mean even more to me and again guys thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye